I shall not disappoint you. Through the valiant efforts of the Imperial and Volunteer Forces, Zhang Jiao, founder of the Way of Peace, is defeated. The Yellow Turban Rebellion is ended. But the longed-for peace did not return. At the capital of Luoyang, the eunuchs faced off against the faction made up of the relatives of the Emperor. Using this as an excuse, Yuan Chao and others raid the Imperial Palace, killing the eunuchs. Under cover of this confusion, Dong Zhuo of Xilian leads his forces to the capital. He seizes control of the Emperor, appoints himself Prime Minister, and proceeds to take control and to tyrannize the country. The Lords soon began to feel themselves in danger. Welcome back, everybody. While you were gone, we received a letter from Master Yuan Chao. From Yuan Chao? Let me see it. The traitor Dong Zhuo must be punished. We call upon those who wish to put an end to his tyranny to assemble in Luoyang. <laughs> this is quite the call to arms. It doesn't entirely seem like a move Yuan Chao would make, though. Cao Cao, is this what you meant when you said you'd take care of things? Indeed. Once my move failed, I knew Dong Zhuo's gaze would turn towards Yuan Shao due to our friendship. As such, Yuan Shao would be forced to make a move. I simply gave him a gentle push to ensure he didn't back out. With his family's reputation, it is easy for him to send out the call to arms to take down Dong Zhuo. Ha! Huh. It seems Yuan Shao actually did the honorable thing for a change. I had no idea you were thinking so far beyond the failed assassination attempt. You're really something, my lord. However, we cannot rest just yet. Dong Zhuo will resort to bribes and threats to drive a wedge between the coalition members. We must end this before that happens. Okay. I see how we must proceed forward. But what are you planning to do about your army? In addition to troops, you're going to need equipment and supplies. I can sell my personal effects in order to raise the funds we require. I barely stay here as it is. You're really committing to this, my lord. There's no turning back now. We are here to join the fight against Dong Zhuo. We must defeat him in order to bring an end to the chaos that plagues this land. Indeed, it is our sworn duty to clear the path for our lord's ascension to greatness. Zhao Ren, it is good to see you. I know I can count on the army you've raised, despite the tight schedule you've been given. I am humbled by your praise, my lord. We are here to serve however you see fit. Now, if you don't mind, there are some people I'd like you to meet. Ah, Master Cao Cao. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. I am Li Dian. 
I knew today was going to be an auspicious day. I am Yue Jin. I may not be the most skilled officer in your ranks, but I promise to give you my very best. Yue Jin. He answered Cao Cao's call to arms when troops were being raised to take down Deng Zhuo. Although he was a government minister, he was quite athletic and also a capable fighter. Yue Jin devoted himself to his duties each day, which included the keeping of detailed military records. It was at that time that he was summoned by Cao Ren. Ah, you both seem to be quite capable officers. I shall entrust each of you with a unit of your own to lead. You what? Uh, oh, forgive me, it's just that this is all rather sudden. Indeed, I was not expecting such a development either. I could see that you both possess the talent to lead troops into battle. In my experience, men of ability have a tendency to stand out from the crowd. That all happened so fast. I still haven't had a chance to wrap my head around it. Do I really have what it takes to lead others? Although, I'm not picking up any negative premonitions about this. Eugene, we simply need to do our best to live up to our Lord's expectations. That's the spirit, you two. Li Dian, Eugene, come help me whip Cao Cao's army into fighting shape. Yes, it will be my honor. Master Li Dian, you seem to place great value on your sense of intuition. How can you put so much trust in what is simply a gut feeling? It's not a matter of whether I trust them or not. I can't explain it, but it just hits me. Of course, not being able to explain it annoys me more than anyone. Oh, I just got another one. Eugene, I have a feeling you and I are going to get along great. Thank you, Master Li Dian. Somehow, I get that feeling too. I'm going to get the first kill!
Cao Ren, why are you always so serious? You used to be, well, quite a bit more, how should I put it, mischievous. That's the word. <clears throat> Speak no more of it. I'm a very different person now. I would prefer that you not bring up my past. Yeah. Are you sure it's okay? I'm the one protecting you, my lord. Dion Wei, you shouldn't worry about such things. Cao Cao saw all he needed to make his decision. Just because you may have been a lowly ruffian before, doesn't mean you'll always be one. You have earned Cao Cao's trust, as well as a new start for yourself. Dion Wei. If Shao Dun vouches for you, there is nothing for you to worry about. So, can I count on you to protect me? Of course, my lord. I'll guard you with my life. Get on in here! Come again! Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! Master Cao Cao boldly attempted to assassinate the corporate tyrant Dong Zhuo. This was an act of true courage. And this courage has drawn many warriors to him. I, myself, am one of those warriors. I intend to prove my worth to Master Cao Cao. Ah, so this is where you went. This should be enough. I used up everything my grandfather left me to outfit this group. This is my entire force. Assembled here. Let's go. We 
you don't want to keep, you want Xiao Wei? One moment, please. My lord, I have come all this way to fight for you. But you, aren't you from the Hu district? Are you saying you rode all this way for me? That's correct. Uh, I heard that you were declaring yourself, Uncle, and I couldn't stay away. And besides, I had to join you because we are under the same sky. I see. I hadn't expected you. But I am glad that you came. All right, Xiu. The 1,000 League Pawn of the Cow family. You will be in the forefront of my battles. I am here to serve as the vanguard for Cao Cao's glorious army. It is my duty to forge a path through those that stand in our Lord's way. I look forward to fighting by your side. We move! Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! My lord, our men are being repelled by the forces of the enemy general, Kuo Xiong, at Sechui Gate. As things stand, we have no chance of passing the gate. What? It's one thing to struggle against Lu Bu, but how is it that we can't overcome Hua Xiong? Send in more men, and overwhelm him with numbers! But my lord, the front lines are low on provisions. Perhaps it would be better to send a supply unit and ensure sufficient supplies first. What? Yuan Shu was supposed to be in charge of provisions. Ugh, he'd better not be sulking just because he hasn't been made leader. Or maybe he is withholding supplies for a reason of his own. My lord, this is a separate matter, but Dong Zhuo's forces are looting a neighboring village. The villagers have requested our aid to stop them. Ah, quiet! Now is not the time for me to be worrying about some trifling matter! Then, we will provide the village with our help. Huh? Who are you again? Well, whatever. Your unit doesn't seem very large, so losing you shouldn't make much difference. I will leave the village in your hands. Show the villagers the benevolence of our coalition forces. You were also with the Volunteer Corps during the campaign against the Yellow Turbans, were you not? 
Ah, Master Tseltsa. I thank you for your aid the other day. I admire your concern for the people. Still, this situation won't last. Surely you have other goals, other desires. Why did you agree to join the Coalition for this battle? I doubt that it was simply to save some tiny village that finds itself in trouble. It is just as you say, Master Tsauta. I wish to make a name for myself in this battle and gain more strength. That will enable me to help more ordinary people. I'm afraid this is a failing of mine. If I see anyone suffering, I cannot look the other way. But I must be moving on, if you will excuse me. They're a rather odd bunch. Yuan Xiao considered the plight of the village to be a trifling matter. However, that Liu Bei fellow jumped at the chance to help them. On one hand, you slay Dong Zhuo and eliminate the source of the corruption. On the other, you save a village from plunder. It is hard to say which the people prefer. Hmm. I suppose so. Although one cannot afford to be caught up with what's happening right in front of them, you know how to step back and view the bigger picture. Hmm. Yes, I suppose I do. We simply need to remain on our path until we achieve our ultimate goal. In that case, we should be going, my lord. Everybody's eagerly awaiting your orders. Hmm. Very well. Our target is Luo Yang. We shall slay the traitorous Dong Zhuo and restore the Han Empire to its former glory. have gathered under my banner. We will attack Luo Yang and slay Dong Zhuo. Assist our allies. Hurry! What about time has come? I cannot fall until I get these supplies to Sun Jian's forces. We cannot let the enemy carry provisions into the castle! Do not let them pass! I have failed in my duty. This is a disgrace. What about this? The enemy is defeated! We have won the battle! Thank you so much. We'll hurry on to Young Grand Castle up ahead. I must challenge my limits! Excellent! I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious!
Oh, you have cut open a path for the supply troops. I have always had an eye for talent. What? I've 
may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! You're the one who saved a whole village from Dong Zhuo. Hey, will you help us out too? Dong Zhuo's forces are closing in on our village. We need to get back there. But we may also encounter bandits on the way. Will you please come with us as protection? Oh, you will? We'll do our best not to cause too much trouble for you. Go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. What about this? A fool out for a walk, huh? Now, strip this fool of all their possessions. Some nice armor there. How about you share it with me? What about this? surroundings. If you're going to be that careless, you deserve to be attacked. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! safely to the village. I could hardly express my gratitude. I wish to fight right by your side. I am sure the others will also join in the coalition. I may not have contributed much, but we are victorious! Oh, Dong Zhuo's army has us completely surrounded. 
I'm not sure how long we'll be able to hold out inside the castle. have contributed much, but we are victorious! Again. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again.
will regret attacking us. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Army's advance will be stopped here at Su Shui Gate. No one's getting by me. Let's go. The enemy does not stand a chance against our might. Our objective has been decided. All units! Forward! We've brought the rams. Use these to smash the gates in. 